Hi, this is Ryan with Premier Table Lens, and we'd like to thank you for taking a look at our printed tablecloths, table runners, and table skirts. In order to print these for you, we've asked you for a vector file. Uh, for those of you that are not in the graphic design business, you may be confused exactly as to what a vector file is. A vector file is an image that is created in certain software such as Adobe Illustrator, Corel Draw, or commonly known programs as GIMP. Vector files are created using lines as opposed to pixels. Photoshop, for example, which is one of the more common graphic programs, creates uh, images in pixels. If we enlarge these images, as you can see from the pictures up here, we actually get what's called pixelation and distortion. In order to prevent that from happening so that we can deliver you a crystal clear printed image, we need it created in a vector file. Vector files use lines to create actual pictures, as you can see from this picture just here as well. If we use lines, then we can expand those images, or we can contract those images to the size we need them to be, and deliver you a perfectly printed product. The colors that we use, if you have certain colors that you want pointed out, and colors matched in your print, you can do one of two things. You can send us a color sample, which we can actually then camera match the color for you. We can do that from a napkin, a coffee cup, a business card, a letterhead, anything which has the color reference that you want. Alternatively, you can ask your graphic designer to call out or embed the colors in the Adobe Illustrator file for us or the Corel Draw file. And that can be used with either PMS color matching system, the Pantone system, or it can be used with a CMYK4 color process. All of our printing is done with a CMYK4 color process, and the four color is a subtractive color model used in color printing, and the CMYK reference refers to the cyan, magenta, yellow, and key color, which is black. If you have any further questions with regards to the art files that you need, or if you have art files and you're not sure if they're going to work, then please send them directly to us at our dig digital art printer department. We'll be able to take a look at them for you and advise you from there.